Yeah. Yeah. What up, what up, what up, what up? What's poppin'? What's good, what's good, what's good? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. Let's get this shit cracking. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to April MC in the building. What's going on, girl? Bernie L in the building. What's going on, Tony Ocasio? What's going on, fam? We about to get it in today. So um, I'm going to try not to make this too long because we got we got the show tonight also at 10 with me and Miles. So we're going to get it cracking. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about how having game can't make a woman like you. You're like, Locario, what are you talking about? I thought the game was supposed to be able to, you know, say some magical words to women. And then all of them are just going to like fall into your lap and and, and they're going to be helpless because your game is so tight. And then you can just get any chick to fuck with you. You understand? You're like, Locario, don't say it's not so. What, what have we been talking about all this time right now? Um, listen, I'm going I'm going to go in today. So you guys will learn. And, and this is this is something that's very, very important for you guys to understand when it comes to you. Uh going out here dealing with women this is also going to make you understand further why i tell you guys to charge chicks to the game this is why i tell you guys to find the women who have high interest all the stuff i've been telling you guys um you know it'll make even more sense when we talk about it in this video you feel what i'm saying but and shout out to everybody in the chat man shout out iceberg s joe blast in the building keith joey what up brad davis Christian was good. Oqui, Oquai was popping. Unique 79 in the building. Kev Smith was going on. Was going on. Entrepreneur King in the building. Rex Corp was going on. You so saw what does the hoodie say? The hoodie says women love sex. Okay. Women definitely love sex. So you guys can go to Teespring, uh, you know, the bad boy gear store. The links are below all of the videos. So if you guys want to get the, the hoodies, shirts, all that other stuff, you can get that shit cracking. But before we get into all of that, though, all right, you guys know what I got to do. Let's get it Everybody cracking. Everybody has game. The thing is, though, is your game weak or is your game strong? See, that's the difference. See, having weak game is synonymous with having no game. But you have game. You have a strategy to get what you want, but your strategy might be weak. I always tell these guys, snap your fingers. And I'll tell them, snap your fingers. They're like, you hear that sound? They're like, I'm like, what is that sound? Bitch, that's a 17-year-old that just turned 18. That's a 19 year old that just turned 21. They are just, turn, they, they, they're everywhere. Hi, how you doing? You think I give a fuck about how you doing, bitch? All I want you to motherfucking do is open your mouth and say something so I can hear how your voice sounds so it can tell me how the fuck to get at you. Your feelings are not facts. Because you feel like whatever you feel like, you can't get me to believe that there's more than two genders. You understand what I'm saying? And truthfully, I'm not sorry because I can't, I can't really make facts out of your fucking feelings. Matter of fact, fuck your feelings. There's only two genders, only two genders. You trying to tell me that genders are neutral and niggas is trying to come up with 92 fucking genders, bro. There's this narrative now that it's okay for a man to cry and it's really pushing this sensitivity, express yourself, express your feelings. One thing I've always respected about my father growing up, I never seen my dad cry. Me and him would get into arguments, we would go at it, we would fight. I would say the harshest things to him I could to hurt his feelings, but I never broke him. Shoot, just the right pair of shoes get your dick sucked. Just the right pair of shoes. Women don't, they, seriously, they, you could be, you could look like Boris Cujo, you'd be six foot eight, you know, have a print down to your knee. They look at those shoes, they bust, they just like, oh no, not him. Nah, boo boo. The bitches shine because of the nigga. Period. Like, and, 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 and when it's functioning correctly, that's the way it is. So, on that on that note, dick is a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. You got to play your way from start to the end. That's having game. Because if you do that, what you expect is what's going to happen. See, don't know accidents happen with motherfuckers that got game. All right, we back, we back, we back, we back. Let's get it in, let's get it in, let's get it in. Um, so guys, call the number is 516-387-1224, 516-387-1224 is the number. Hit the donate button at the top if you have a question, put a Q in the chat. 
you know, let's get this shit cracking up. We did. We already got calls already. Let me. OK, let me get one of these calls. We'll go to three zero five. Um, and then I'm going to get into the game to the uh, the topic in a second. Let's go to three zero five first. Three zero five What's popping. What's going on? Who's this? Oh, what's up? What's up, Lakari? I'm doing it right now. You're donating right now, nigga. <laughs> you, you just it interrupted the flow of the game. And the, okay, go ahead, real quick. Go ahead. What's going on? All right. I just want to know, like, when you have like girls that call you like bitch, right? Like, like well, stop, like, stop, bitch. You know, stop. <laughs> Whatever you gonna say. <laughs> well, you know what, I, you know what I'm saying, though, right? <laughs> What? Hold on. So wait, you said a chick calls you a bitch? No, not like a bitch, but how girls just like say bitch in their vocabulary. Like what like cuz I always tell them don't call me bitch, right? Like even though they're just playing around. No, 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 no. They're not playing no, 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 no. They're not playing around. They're disrespecting you. You understand what I'm saying? They're disrespecting you. You understand? See, you thinking, okay, you thinking, oh, if a girl is chilling with her girlfriend and saying, oh, bitch, this, bitch, that, right? You think it's the same level of, of, of situation. No, it's not. If she's calling you a bitch or referring to you as bitch, she's disrespecting you. You understand what I'm saying? So I should, so I should say, oh, don't call me a bitch, right? Yes, and you, you should charge your ass to the game. First of all, if a chick calling you a bitch, she's done. You understand what I'm saying? She's done. Because I had a home, I had a homeboy, and he told me that if a girl calls you a bitch, he's like, "Oh, what, if a girl called you a bitch, what would you do?" And I told her, I told him, I would tell her not to, and I'll get mad. And he said, "That's not manly to get upset that a girl calls you that." Dude, you trolling? You got to be trolling. Tell me you trolling. Nah, nah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Bro, listen, man, that's disrespect, plain and simple. She called me a bitch. You don't fuck with her. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. Because the thing is, and, and understand this, there's, there's things you're doing to show up in a situation for the woman to even feel comfortable enough to call you a bitch. You understand what I'm saying? So what are you doing with it? Like, who is this girl calling you a bitch? Is this a girl you dating, hooking up with? Like, what is, who is this woman? No, nah, she's my home girl. It's your friend? This is a, a woman who's your friend? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Where do you know this girl from? Um, I, I tattooed her. Okay, I remember you the tattoo guy. Okay, so this is a girl you tattooed. How long you know this girl? I don't know, like a couple weeks. Oh, my God. You must want me to break it. Why you want me to break the button? Like, oh, no, we're not. We're not like talk. We're not like talking or nothing. She she like brings me clients, but she she says that. No, but you said like you said that's your home girl. How's that your home girl? You only knew for three weeks. You understand? Like, oh, I mean, what you talking about, bro? Because we're like we're friends. Friends? How you only known this chick for three weeks? What are you talking about? Like, how are y'all friends? Which I which I do. Whatever y'all been doing that's friendly. Well. Well, I have another friend, and she does the same thing, but I know her longer. You have another friend that calls you a bitch? She, that's just how girls talk. They just like, no, they, nigga. Okay, okay, listen, listen. Let me, okay, let me ask you this, right? So, let's say I'm chilling with Miles, right? Or Kay Zagging. And I'm like, yo, what up, my nigga? What's going on, my nigga? What's good? What's good? What's popping, my nigga, right? <laughs> and then, and then I'm chilling around a white dude and he's like yo nigga what up is it the same thing it depends this nigga because if you're from the streets the white white uh, like hispanics and white people from the street they say they say nigga and no 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 really says nothing no if you, you no if you don't say nothing <laughs> then then what, what happens is is that you're you're basically enabling that if you're chilling, if this is supposed someone that's supposed to be your friend and they're saying that shit and you don't say nothing, you're allowing the disrespect. What are you talking about, bro? You don't even you don't even realize you're getting disrespected. And that's why they're calling you a bitch, because you're allowing it, bro. 
But I tell them not to do it. And they still do it, right? No, nah, they're like, oh, yeah, I forgot. And then, and then mm-hmm. they, they correct themselves. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you still hang out with these? What you, why are you hanging out with these women for? Oh, uh, they bring me clients. Okay, so, but still, why are you hanging out with them? You don't have to hang out with them for them to bring you clients? Yeah, they come with them. What? So the clients they bring, they, they come with the clients. Yeah, they're like friends. So tell they them to. Friends. So tell them, bring the client. Don't come with the client, and I will break you off a piece of the the, the money for bringing the client. Also, she also she's not there. What? I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna give her money for not being there. Bro, if she's bringing you the client, tell her, yo, I will give you a piece of the action because you bought the client, but you don't have to hang out with them. That's what I'm trying to say. What oh, I'm saying is okay. you don't, what I'm saying is stop hanging out, interacting, sharing energy with women who are calling you bitch. Is, why, is that so hard for you to get? Not yet. Well, what if it's like a, a, a someone in the future? Oh my god, okay, I gotta let you go, my brother. I gotta let you go. I gotta let you go. You a bitch, nigga. You call me, nigga. <laughs> you wasting my time, bitch ass nigga. Fuck you talking about. I'll let I'll let Soldier Boy call you a bitch. Jesus Christ, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this shit is funny. Hilarious. Anyway. Anyway, um, Exactly. He said, uh, he said, these, those girls are disguised. Abuse is a joke. So you just keep tolerating her bad behavior. It's not a joke. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like he's, he's, you know, being goofy. He ain't realizing what the fuck is going on out here. You know what I'm saying? He does not realize what's going on out here. But anyway, let's, let's, let's get into some, 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 some game people. So you guys can understand what's popping off out here in these streets, man. Anyway, so title list today's show is Having game can't make a woman like you, okay? Having game cannot make a woman like you. What a lot of guys think, and this is this is the 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 I guess sort of like the confusion or the ignorance when it comes to the game. And this this is because also I think a lot of uh, pickup artisty type of things that has been going on for the past few years that got guys thinking that if you you know, have enough game, you can just get any girl to like you, right? Now, what I like to have is I like to have the mindset that I'm so fucking awesome that every girl on earth wants to fuck with me. That's the mindset I have. You understand what I'm saying? And that's a good mindset to have because what happens is is that when you have that sort of mindset, you are extremely confident about yourself, about your value and, and, you know, how you interact and do things, right? But what you have to understand is, is that when it comes to the game, you're going to run into one in, one of two types of women. There's only two types of women you're going to run into this game. Women who have interest in you and women who don't have interest in you. Let me say it again for the people in the back. Women who have interest in you and women who don't have interest in you, right? So what happens is, is that the women who don't have interest in you, you can't make them like you. You see what I'm saying? You can't make them like you. What happens is, is that a lot of guys think that game is about trying to get girls who have no interest in you to have interest in you. Meaning they say, well, you know, uh, I can get this girl that I like who doesn't really, who may not necessarily like me or be interested in me to be interested in me. You can't. You understand what I'm saying? If a woman has no interest in you, you can't get her to have interest in you. See, when it, when it comes to the game, what you're doing is, is that you're finding the women who have interest in you. That's it. That is it. You're not trying to convert <laughs> a woman who has no interest in you to have interest in you because you can't. You understand now? When we talk about the women who have interest in you, right? I talked about this before. There's three types of interest, high interest, medium interest, and low interest. High interest, medium interest, or low interest, right? All three of those are interest, but it's different levels of interest. Now, what happens is, is that a lot of guys think 
that they made a woman who didn't like them like them. You understand? Rex said, game unlocks interest. No, it does not. No, it does not. See, a lot of guys think that they can turn a woman who has no interest in them to have interest in them by, you know, spend some game talking to them, doing all this other stuff, looking a certain way. When a woman has no interest in you, Right. When it's when she truly has no interest in you, there's nothing you can do to to get her to have interest in you. Nothing. Right. All you need to focus on is the women who have interest in you and the women who have interest in you either have high interest, medium interest or low interest. That's it. Right. Now, what a lot of guys confuse is this. Is that they think. For example, a guy might meet a girl, right? And he'd be like, oh, yeah, well, when I first met her, she wasn't really feeling me. But, you know, I talked to her and I hollered at her and then she started to like me. Right. And then I hooked up with her and, and it made shit happen. So they're thinking, oh, see, this girl didn't like me and now she likes me. No, 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 no. That woman either had low or medium interest and then she started to like you more. So there was interest there already. So what happens is, is that when you're dealing with a girl who you, you, seems like she's kind of standoffish, a little wishy-washy or whatever, and then she comes around, you understand, she starts to like you more, that woman already had some sort, some form of interest in you. You understand? And then what happens is, is that by you interacting with her, seducing her, whatever the fuck it is, right, it raised her interest. But there was interest there already. You understand what I'm saying? The interest is there already. So you're not converting some girl who don't like you to a girl who likes you. No, you're not. Right. So you might have dealt with a woman who has low interest. And then she started to warm up to you. And then her interest raised because of how you was acting, the, the, the situation, what went on. You understand? So that's the type of shit that goes down. And guys, if you have a question, leave a question, a queue in the chat, and I'll put the questions on a, on a joint so you guys understand it. Now, me personally, I only like to deal with women who have high interest, right? So remember, it's high interest, medium interest, low interest, right? I like to deal with women who have high interest only. I'm not, I don't like to really fuck with women who have medium to low interest. I, I just don't. Now, you can, and you can still get shit popping with those women, and you can make things go down, Right? But I don't I just don't like doing it. I feel like it's a waste of time in most in most cases. Right. So, for example, high interest women are women who they are extremely cooperative, compliant. Um, they are very easy to get along with they're, they're They try to cater to you. Right. Um, you know, they they basically listen to your directions. You understand what I'm saying? Those are the high interest women. Medium interest women are women who have, they have interest in you, but it's kind of like, these are the women that, for example, you talk to and you're like, Hey, come over to my place. And they're like, Oh, you know, I'm not that type of girl. You know, we should go on a date and get to know each other. That's medium interest. You go on three dates with a girl. That's medium interest. You understand what I'm saying? You're chilling on a date with a chick and you know, Maybe you kiss her at the end of the night and you're trying to take her back to your place. She's like, oh, no, you know, um, like we just met, blah, blah, blah. That's medium interest. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the medium interest type of uh, woman. Now, low interest is, for example, a woman who they'll go on dates with you, hang out with you, talk on the phone with you. But they're not they're They're very, very uh, like. They're not really trying to get sexual with you like that. You understand? So they have interest in you, but most of their interest in you is about the attention that you're giving them. You understand? Now, you can turn that into sexual interest if your game is, you know, tight or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? JD said low interest is girls who call you bitch. (laughs) Real talk. Man, 
But that's this is all I'm saying. So, so you got to understand that there's it's only girls who are interested in you and girls who are not interested in you. And in the interest, there's three types of interest: high, medium, and low interest. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of the times you guys thought that, oh, this girl wasn't interested in me and, and I got her interested in me with my game. No, she was interested in you. She just probably had low or medium interest. You understand what I'm saying? But see, this is why I tell guys a lot of times charge chicks to the game because this is the thing. When a woman has low or medium interest in you, right? <laughs> what happens is, is that in order for you in a lot of cases to raise her interest or in order for her to start to really be interested in you, you have to know how to seduce women. You have to have a very tight mouthpiece, right? And understand that when you're dealing with a woman who has low to medium interest, it's more work you have to put in. That's why I don't like to deal with lower medium interest women. Like, for example, there was, you know, there's times where, uh, like I was on an online dating site and I say to a chick, yo, I'll be like, hey, what's up? Um, let's get together Friday evening at the Main Street Bar at eight o'clock or some shit. That'd be my first message. And then she would reply to me and say, oh, how about how about you introduce yourself first? Right. <laughs> and then I just ignore her or unmatch her and, and keep it moving. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because I know that is medium to low interest. You understand? See, what a girl who has high interest would do when I say, hey, what's up? Let's meet, uh, you know, Friday at the, the, the main street bar at eight o'clock. And she'd be like, oh, that sounds good. Uh, you know, I can, I can make that, right? She'll, she's about it. Or she might say, oh, yeah, well, I would love to meet you, but Friday I'm actually busy. Can we do Saturday? You understand what I'm saying? So that's the thing where you have to understand that women are going to have different levels of, of interest, but understand that if she's dealing with you, there is interest. You understand what I'm saying? Women who have no interest in you are not going to fuck with you. You understand? Rob TV, what the hell are you talking about? This is your most black pill video. <sighs> why, why are you trolling? Why are you trolling this afternoon? Why, Rob? Why? Why you got to be trolling? Finally, you have come to acknowledge. What are you talking What are you talking about? I've been talking about this. See, you know what's funny? I think when I talk, some of you don't listen. You only hear what you want to hear. You're hearing your own thoughts about what I'm saying. No. See, you're thinking, oh, uh, <laughs> these dudes is goofy. You're thinking, oh, Lucario's saying that game doesn't work. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm telling you that you can't make a woman who has no interest in you have interest in you. And I'm telling you to find the women who have interest in you. Once you find the women who have interest in you, it's up to you to figure out what type of interest she has. Is it high? Is it medium? Is it low? You understand? Like, I, 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 I don't, I don't get how this is this complicated. You understand? I don't get how this is that complicated. It's really not that complicated. You understand? So all you're doing, and, and this is why guys, I always laugh at guys who are scared of rejection, right? Because <clears throat> if a chick rejects you, right? All that means, or, you know, rejects or whatever, right? All that means is she has no interest in you. You understand? She ain't got no interest in you. So what the fuck do you care? Why are you, why are you worried about that? Like, why do you give a fuck? You understand? Exactly. King Lee said niggas got selective hearing to justify the narrative they already had. Exactly. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? But the thing is, you got to understand that what you're looking for when you're out here interacting with women, right? You're looking for what type of interest the woman has in you if she's 
if she's deciding to deal with you, if she's deciding to fuck with you, if she's deciding to interact with you. You understand what I'm saying? And then, and then once you understand the level of interest, you decide whether or not you want to fuck with her. So me, I do not fuck with any girls who have medium to low interest. Like it'll be, it, it, it's like, it'll, ha- it'll be like rare if that even happens at this point. Meaning like if I see a woman who has medium interest, she's done. All I'm looking for is extreme, super high interest. I say, do this and then you do it. You understand? I say, text me, you text me. I say, call me, you call me. I say, meet me here, you meet me here. You understand? Anything besides that, I ain't fucking with it. Period. You understand? I say to a girl, hey, meet me at this spot. But um, can we? No, we can't. No, we can't. See, the most I would do is, let's say I'm trying to make something happen with a chick, right? And she's like, oh, but this and but that. And I say, listen, here's my number. When you're ready to do the thing I said to do, call me. That's it. You understand? That's it. That is it. But let me see what some of these questions are saying. Um, You said, little little car, why don't you get got a super chat? to donate through YouTube because my uh, page is not monetized and that's, you know, YouTube's thing. So I can't do nothing about that. Um, You said, can Puerto Ricans get the end pass? No. Um, Hold on. Let me see. How do you get the mindset of believing every girl wants you when you never had success with women? It's like being homeless and believing you can become a millionaire. A lonely guy. Do you know that the smartphone or computer you're watching this live stream with and typed what you typed, right? The computer, the phone, whatever you're using was first something in somebody's mind. And then it became reality, but it started with the mind first. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to understand that it starts with your mind first. You see what I'm saying? So right now, the reason why you're having a hard time getting women is because your mind is telling you you can't, which is why you're not getting it. See, it's still working. Like it's like, Everything that that I'm saying is working literally right now, but you're just on the other side of the spectrum. Your mind is telling you, look, look, look at your, your, your name is a lonely guy. Change your name, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, like you want girls, but your name says you're a lonely guy. Get it? So therefore you will be a lonely guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. So uh hold on. Uh so Iceberg has said, why would you mess with a woman uh with low interest? Well, some dudes would. I wouldn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would not. See. <sighs> Low interest is like teetering the line of it's like right next to the friend zone. You feel what I'm saying? It's right next to the friend zone. You understand? I would not fuck with a chick with low interest. Ain't ain't nobody got time for that. Like, why? That's this shit is some low self-esteem shit. Uh, How do you know if she got some type of attraction towards you? Well, it's based off of how she's coming at you, but also it's based off of how you're creating the situation to see her response to you. You understand what I'm saying? So if if I'm talking to a girl, right, and I say, yo, listen, uh, I want you to come over to my crib so I can fuck the shit out you. You understand what I'm saying? And then she's like, okay, cool, what time? That's high interest. You understand? If she's like, what do you mean, fuck? Like, 
what are you talking about? Like, what type of girl do you think I am? And, you know, why, why can't why can't we go out and get to know each other first? Like, blah, 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 blah. Right. That's medium interest. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? If a chick has low interest, right, what happens is, is that she's not even going to, in most cases, respond to that question or to that to that statement. She's going to totally just like try to change the direction of of the, the, the conversation. Like, for example, you ever try to you ever try to set a date with a chick or, or ask her a direct question and then she just sort of talks about some other shit like you'd be like yo you free friday night let's get together and get a drink and she'll be like oh hey did you see that um new movie that came out the other day about blah 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 and you're like what like i just asked her about friday why she tell me about a movie and then, then you get caught up in oh no nah, i didn't see that movie she's like, oh yeah that movie is is really good I heard you. and then you're talking about a fucking movie now when you're trying to set up a date that's the chick who has low interest you see what i'm saying so that's what it is. Um, we said, how do I get better with women? I always get flaked on. Go to badboymembership.com. Join the bad boy membership. <laughs> Listen, guys, I gotta get up on that bad boy membership. Stop fucking around. I'm telling y'all. See, a lot, a lot of the, the, the questions that you have are answered on the bad boy membership. And I break this shit down heavy, and it's freaking like 90, 95% stuff I don't talk about on here. You understand? Like there's so much shit that I don't talk about on YouTube because you got to get the bad boy membership because you got to invest in yourself in order to be able to take the shit seriously and make the shit happen. You see what I'm saying? So uh you said uh the car is it possible that girls with medium to high interest pretend uh not to be interested at all? No. See, the thing is this. Uh, well, first of all, you know, medium interest and high interest, two different things. You understand what I'm saying? Um, now, what's what's going to happen is this, is that if a woman, let's talk about a woman who has high interest, right? A woman who has high interest in you, right? It's hard for her, like, it will be hard for her to pretend she doesn't have interest. You understand? Because one of the things about a woman who has high interest, right? She basically, it's it's like she's meeting a man and she's interacting with a man in her eyes is who is rare, who's like, who's like, you know, her dream guy. You understand what I'm saying? Is that that's the type of uh, 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 thing that happens when a woman has high interest in you. She's like, oh, this is the dude. So I don't want to fuck up anything. I don't want to fuck up nothing. I, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to try this nigga. I'm not trying to get him upset. I'm not trying to do nothing to fuck this up. Now, what happens is this: your game could be so weak that a woman can have high interest in you, and then she starts to have medium interest in you or low interest in you, and sometimes no interest. See. A woman could go from interested to not interested, but a woman is not going to go from not interested to interested. You understand what I'm saying? If that ever happens, that's super rare. But in most cases, that ain't going to happen. And 99.9999999999% of the time, a woman is not going to go from not interested in you to interested in you. You understand what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. It's like this. Think about... Um, think about... Uh, let's say, for example, you as a straight man, right? I'm assuming most of you guys watching are straight, right? <laughs> Imagine a gay dude says to me, Locario, bro, I, you know, those guys in your chat room, you know, like, I want to get with those guys in your chat, right? <laughs> so he says this shit, right? I'm sure all y'all motherfuckers in the chat will have no interest in this in this gay dude, right? Because you're into women. So what can the gay dude do to get you to, in, to be interested in, in him? Nothing. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's a wrap. It's over. So same thing with women where there's certain women that you meet 
right? Who will have no interest in you the same way you have no interest in a gay dude. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you got to understand. So it's about finding the women who got interest in you. Unique 79 in the building. He said, not a question, Ms. Lagaro, just to say that I have been playing the numbers game heavy. The amount of BS and replacing is ridiculous. The game is a will that constantly turns. High patience is required. Facts. <laughs> That's the type of statement you can make when you're out here really in a game doing what you do. You know what I'm saying? Um... He said, can a woman who has low interest also mean lack of respect? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because she can respect you in the sense of she respects like, oh, you're a good guy. You, you know, you take care of your business, blah, blah, blah. But she has low interest in you sexually. She has low interest in you as a guy that uh, she wants to really get with. You understand what I'm saying? But she'll, you know, use you for attention. You see what I'm saying? So let me get to this next question real quick. Uh, you say, can a woman play like she got no interest and actually, no, that's what I'm saying. She's not She's not going to play like she has no interest if she has, I, see, women who have medium interest and low interest, right, can play like they have high interest. Do you understand what I'm saying? But the thing is, a woman's not going to play that she has no interest because she if she has no interest, she's not talking to you. She's not interacting with you. She's not, you know, like texting you, calling you. You ain't even like, she's not taking your number. She's not giving you her number. She has no interest in you. But a woman who has low or medium interest can play like they have high interest in you. And that's how they, that's how they get a lot of you guys hooked and caught onto their shit because you start thinking you, cause because see, this is the thing. This is why it's important for guys to understand this. If you don't realize that there's levels of interest you're going to assume that any type of attention a woman is giving you means she likes you. And then therefore you start to chase her and interact with her in ways where you're thinking or hoping something's going to, you know, go down. And then you don't realize that this girl has low interest in you. And then you never get shit popping. And when she's tired of playing around with you, she bounces. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But that happened because you didn't realize that she had low interest in you. You see what I'm saying? So uh, Margo said, would you just get rid of their numbers if they have a uh, medium to low interest? Well, that's the thing. Like, I'm not even really exchanging numbers with a chick unless I know she has high interest. <laughs> you know, so I'm not even doing it. You understand? Like, when I'm interacting with a chick, I'm in test mode. I'm testing to see where her interest is. And when she shows me where her interest is, if it's medium or low, I ain't fucking with her. Not doing it. You understand? Now, again, you can deal with women who have medium and low interest and get your pop. I'm just saying me personally. I'm not saying that you guys need to do it exactly how I'm doing it. I'm saying me personally, I do not fuck with women who have medium to low interest. I used to in the past a lot. You understand? And I can still if I want to and still get them. But I don't feel like putting in that type of work. I just don't. You understand what I'm saying? I just don't. Um, you said, Zablokari, is it fine that we can read all your books, view all your membership videos, and approach women without one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching? Yes, you can. <laughs> you understand? You can do all that. Listen, let me tell you guys something. You can, you can go out and do your thing. You understand what I'm saying? And still learn it on your own. Under, but understand this, it just takes you longer. <laughs> and sometimes you might, and some people might not get it. So this is why you have a coach. You understand? The coach is the cheat code. You guys got to understand this, right? All the stuff that I'm teaching you guys, remember, I'm 40 years old. I've been fucking with chicks since I was 15, 16 years old. You understand what I'm saying? Consistently, like, 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 listen, talk to Miles. Miles, Miles will tell you. Me and Miles used to live together back in the day. And I used to have chicks in and out the crib heavy. Heavy. You understand what I'm saying? 
Like, it was ridiculous. It was fucking ridiculous. But um, let me get to this next question. Hold on. One second. Let me get this. Uh, let me hit some more of you guys' questions real quick so I don't miss them. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. So it says, can a woman show signs of high interest and medium interest at the same time? Nope. It's either high or it's medium or it's low. You understand? It's not at the same time. Because it's contradictory. Remember, for example, if I if I'm talking to a girl, she has high interest, right? And I tell her, "Hey, come over my house <laughs> and suck my dick," right? She's gonna be like, "Cool, what time?" Yes, let's make it happen. Like it's 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 going down, right? A medium interest girl, if I say, "Come over my house and suck my dick," but. What do you mean suck your dick? Like, what, what are you talking about? Do you, do you talk like that to all these women? Like, like, what do you mean? Like, we haven't even went out on a date. Like, are you crazy? That That's medium interest. You understand? That's medium interest. See, the more a woman gives you resistance, the less interested she is in you. I keep trying to tell guys this. The least resistance, the more interest. The more resistance, the less interest. Dennis, I got your question. Don't worry. I, I put it in the queue. <laughs> Don't worry. You got a lot of questions. You understand? So the least resistance, the more interest. The more resistance, the less interest. That's the easy way for you to understand it. So, again, if I'm on an online dating app and I match with a girl and my first message to her is, yo, are you free this weekend so we can get together and get a drink? And she's like, oh, can we talk on here more? That means she doesn't have high interest. That's resistance because she's resisting trying to get together. You see what I'm saying? If I'm like, yo, are you free this weekend to get a drink? She's like, oh yeah, I'm definitely free this weekend to get a drink. That's not resistance. You see what I'm saying? You said, let's say you chat to a girl all week and on the day she flakes, what should you do? That's your... That's your that's your your, your your uh that's your problem right there. Why are you chatting to a girl a week? So usually that's the type of shit that will inspire or you know uh like get a girl to flake. You understand? That's what it get the girl to flake in a lot of cases. Because what happens is sometimes this is what happens. Let's say you, let's just use the online thing. You match with a girl, you set up a date for, for the weekend, right? Let's say it's, uh, today's Monday. Let's say today you get, you, uh, you match with a girl. You say, yo, listen, um, yeah, let's get together Friday. She says, cool. And then you talking to her today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right now, all this yapping, Right. And you said something that made her question seeing you. Now, if you would have shut the fuck up and not text her or called her, she'd have most likely saw you because she still has an I she still has her own idea of the type of guy you might be. You understand? See, women project a certain fantasy on the guy they're going to see. Oh, I wonder how he is. I wonder what he's about. I wonder this, I wonder that. Right? And so what happens is, is that the more you're talking to her and interacting with her, her fantasy turns into reality. And then what happens is, is that a lot of times you don't live up to the fantasy. So she ends up saying, 
you know, this guy isn't who I thought he was. I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not going to really go see him. And she doesn't see you. Now, could you not talk to a girl all week and then she still flake? Of course. But she's more likely to flake if you're sitting there talking and yapping and saying a bunch of goofy shit. Now, the only exception to this, again, see, this, <laughs> this is why there's levels to the game. If you're the type of guy who has a crazy ass mouthpiece and you know how to talk to women, you understand what I'm saying? Then what's going to happen is she'll still probably be excited to see you because you're the type of guy who is attractive, who knows how to interact, who knows how to talk to chicks to get them excited to see them and all this other stuff. But most guys aren't like that. And what happens is, is that you have a better chance of when she meets you for her to at least be like, OK, I can kind of rock with this because you're in front of her. You understand you might be dressed nice, smell good. You got all these other things going for you in the situation that can make her attracted to you. But if you're just on the phone with some random girl you haven't even met yet. All she's going off of is what you're saying and how you're talking on the phone and the other things you're you're. you're you're talking about and then she's like yeah this guy ain't really he ain't really it you understand what i'm saying he's not really it so that's what it is um so what's the correct amount of attention you should give a woman do you have a program uh discussing that um i'm on the bad boy membership well i have a program talking about how to vet a woman so i talk about that a little bit in there but generally it's this and i think i talk about that in the program too is that the, the amount of time you give a woman should be based off of, you know, how long this woman has been consistent, cooperative, and compliant in your life. You understand? So, and, and this goes to what I was just saying before. If I just match with a girl on Tinder, right, and I set up a date for Friday, why would I be giving her all this attention during the week? I, I just I just literally met this girl on the app. Why am I giving her all this attention and time and energy? She's nobody right now. So because she's nobody right now, she doesn't get time and attention. The only time and attention she got was for me to set the fucking date. That's it. And then the next amount of time and attention she gets is when I confirm the date. And then the next time and attention she gets is when I'm on the date with her and feeling her out for that hour or whatever it is. Now, once a girl's been rocking with me for six, eight months, right? We, we kicking it, we dating, whatever it is like that. Then I could give her a little bit more attention because time has passed. She's been consistent. So I might actually... Talk to her on the phone for like 15, 20 minutes. You understand? Because she's earned that attention. But when I first meet a woman, right, I'm not giving her all this attention. Now, the only, uh, uh, I say, exception to that is, let's say you meet a girl, let's say, at a bar randomly, right? And uh, you're talking to her and you're trying to pull her that night, Right. You still don't want to spend that much time on her, but you'll spend a little bit more time in the interaction up front because you have the plan to pull and you see that she's really cooperative and down with the situation. So you might talk to her for like 15, 20 minutes. You'd be like, hey, listen, let's get out of here. Let's go. You know, let's go back to my place, whatever it is like that. You feel what I'm saying? So that that you can do that type of shit. But, but even in then, even with that situation, um, you, you still don't want to spend too much time because I know dudes who they'll talk to a girl for like three, four hours that they just met. And I'm like, nigga, stop. You understand what I'm saying? Stop the nonsense. So how do you determine if your game is just weak versus uh, women having no interest? Well, that's interesting. See, the thing is this. When your game is tight, right? When you know how to talk to girls, when you're the type of guy who has confidence, you got swag, you know how to, your appearance is on point, all, everything is just like, you know, it's that you have that energy about you, right? What happens is, is that you're going to 
get more women who have interest in you or you're going to interact with more women who have interest in you, right? Then uh, uh, women who don't, meaning what happens is you have some guys out there who they can't get no chicks to really try to fuck with them. Meaning like, like they'll go out and try to talk to women and damn near 99% of the chicks ain't trying to talk to them. Right. Or they get on an online dating site. Damn near. They, they hardly get no matches. They get like one match every two weeks if they're lucky. You <laughs> understand what I'm saying? So those are guys who, you know, their game is super weak. Right now. What happens is, is that if your game is tight, right, you're going to get a different response from women because they're responding to the fact that your game is tight. They're responding to the fact that you are a guy who knows how to deal with women. This is why I tell guys and try to explain to guys how important game is, because what happens is, is that women recognize guys who are good with women. And women also recognize guys who are not. See, women have a very, very good filtering system. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that, for example, I'll just give you a simple example. If you're the type of guy who approaches a girl and let's say you're, you're, you're super nervous, right? You're looking down at her feet because you're scared to look her in the eyes. You understand? You're fumbling over your words. Right. You are uh, apologizing to her as you're talking you know, like people, you know, those people that say sorry for every every fucking thing. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bother you. Right. As soon as you want that type of shit, she knows what type of dude you are. She's like, this nigga is goofy. He, 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 no. You understand what I'm saying? No. So, but then if you're the type of guy who walks up real confident, you got that energy. You're like, hey, miss, hold on. Wait, stop for a second. Let me talk to you for a second. What's your name? You understand? Like, you got a different vibe to you. So she's like, oh, okay, this guy knows he, he's that he's this type of guy. So what happens is this. Women have history with dudes who are needy, clingy, and on some goofy shit. So what happens is that when you come to a woman with that goofy, nervous, I don't know what I'm doing energy, it reminds her of the other guy like that she gave a chance to. The other guy that was stalking her. The other guy that was blowing up her phone like crazy. She's like, I don't want to have to deal with that type of nigga. You understand what I'm saying? First of all, I'm not really attracted to him like that. And then this is what happens sometimes too. And this is why when dudes get all about just it being about looks, this is where they don't understand. See, sometimes a woman may be physically attracted to a guy. She gives him her, his, the, you know, her information, they exchange numbers, and then she doesn't realize that he's needy and clingy and goofy till later. So this is why sometimes, you, you know, when dudes be talking about, oh, it's all about looks, it's all about looks. No, nigga, your looks ain't enough because what happens is, is that that girl you're talking to or that girl you're trying to get with, She's been with a good looking guy who was a goofy nigga, a good looking guy who was insecure, a good looking guy who's blowing up her phone. And she's like, fuck this guy, man. Like, I'm tired of this nigga. Like, I wish he would just leave me alone. This goofy ass motherfucker stalking me. Right. So what happens is, is that. Women start to realize that there's a different type of vibe a certain guy has when he's good with women. You understand what I'm saying? And so what happens is, is that when she meets this type of guy, she's more receptive to him. You see what I mean? But dudes don't, they, they don't get it. They see guys, be just looking at shit on the surface. Like, oh, well, it's just all about looks. And if you look good, then it's end all be all. No, it's not. Y'all don't understand shit from the woman's perspective, the woman's side. What happens is, is that women have no problem attracting a good looking dude. You understand what I'm saying? They have no problem attracting a good looking dude. You understand what I'm saying? But what happens is, is that the women are really attracted to men who know how to deal with women.
You see what I'm saying? Which is why you should learn how to deal with women. You said, is the Game Kings available on DVD? No, it's, it's just a digital download. So if you go to MissLocario.com right now, you can download it and you can watch it ASAP. You feel what I'm saying? Um, you said, would you consider no interest a level of interest or that separated from the three levels? No, that's separated. So if a woman has no interest, see, this is a, the, the, thing with, the thing with women who have no interest, they're not even a factor because you're not going to really be able to interact with them because they have no interest. And then they have, they're not going to be dealing with you at all. They're not going to be talking to you, nothing. You ain't getting a number. They're not giving you their number. You understand what I'm saying? They're not trying to talk to you. So they're, they're a non-factor. They, they don't even, it, it's like whatever. You understand what I'm saying? It's whatever. Um, you said, Lakari, I just joined the Patreon. Do I receive the book like it stated? I joined yesterday and still haven't received it via email. Well, email me, email me at um ask Mr. Lucario at Gmail, ask Mr. Lucario at Gmail, and I send I'll send you the book, but you have to be on a $20 Patreon to get it. You feel what I'm saying? So if you're on a $20 Patreon, you can get the Hot Up Sex Two Women a Day book for free. So make sure you guys go to patreon.com slash Mr. Lucario to join the Patreon so you can hit a bad boy show. Um, you said, would you just get rid of, uh, okay. We already answered that one. Um, you said, look, people of all races in NY say the N word. So, <laughs> so I don't give, I, I don't like, I don't rock with that shit when, when, when motherfuckers, you know, is saying that shit around me, you know what I'm saying? Um, so look, if a woman swipe right on you on Tinder, is that low, medium or high interest? I assume they are at least uh, medium interest. Well, that's the thing. A woman is not going to swipe on you on purpose. Like, you know, she might, she could have done it by mistake, but usually, you know, men will, are, are very careful at who they swipe. There's some sort of interest there. So if you're, if you get a match, she swiped on you because 99.99% of the time, there's something interested, interesting about you that she, which is why she swiped. Now, whether that's low, medium interest, that's what you got to find out. You feel what I'm saying? Um, what is the percentage do you, do you think of high interest women? Does it matter about the uh, the level where you're at? Well, that's the thing. The women that you find that are going to have the high interest in you are going to be a lower percentage of women, right? So let's say, for example, let's say if I'm in a, a room with a hundred women, right? Maybe 15 to 20 of them are going to have high interest in me. You understand what I'm saying? And let's say probably like 50 might have medium interest. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's about what, like 70 so far, right? Then let's say 15 have low interest, right? So that's 85 or whatever. And then the, the other 15 have no interest. You see what I'm saying? But um, but the 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 numbers can vary based off your level of game, though. Because if your game is weak as fuck, <laughs> you could be in a room with a hundred women, and only one or two have high interest in you, or none of them might have high interest in you. You feel what I'm saying? So it just all depends. Um, but in general, the, the amount of women who have high interest in you are going to be uh, a lower percentage of the situations. But this is the this is the great part about it is that even though it's a lower percentage, the actual experience and with dealing with those women is more of a quality experience. You understand what I'm saying? It's more quality. Um, you said, Lakara, if what you said is the case, won't a woman lose respect for you if she can uh, use you for attention? Um, yeah, she 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 can she can lose respect for you if if you if she's losing using you for attention. But the thing is, is that what happens is is when I say she she can still respect you, what I mean is that res she won't she won't necessarily disrespect you in the sense of 
you know, like she respects you as like being a good guy, a person who like goes to work, handles his business. He's a, you understand what I'm saying? Respect in that manner. But what happens is like, yeah, you're correct. If she, if she's using you for attention and you're um, like allowing that, she won't respect you in the sense of a guy she respects that she's really, really attracted to. You understand what I'm saying? But I, when I'm saying she can still respect you, I was talking about in the sense of like, just in general, you understand what I'm saying? Because the thing is, a woman could be sexually attracted to you and have high interest in you and still actually not really respect you. You feel what I'm saying? Meaning that I could meet a girl and she could have high interest in me. And, and when I say interest, what I'm talking about is interest, it, interested in you as a sexual partner, a, a guy she would want to get with and, 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 and fuck with in that manner. You see what I'm saying? That's what it means when we talk about interest. Now, a woman could be sexually attracted to me like crazy, right? And want to jump my bones, do all this other shit, but still not necessarily respect me. You understand what I'm saying? She might not even, she might not even like me. You understand what I'm saying? But she's attracted to me sexually and she has that high interest, which is why she's fucking. But if you was to ask her, oh, would you, you know, uh, like, be in a relationship with this guy or do you really like it? She could be like, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not fucking with that guy like that. You see what I'm saying? Cool. Hold on. Let me see. Next question. Uh, a girl who's extremely social and agreeable can make you think she has a uh, medium through high interest. No, this is the thing. You test a woman's interest by you saying and doing things for her to respond to. So what happens is, is that if a woman has medium interest, right? Most likely she's not trying to just like smash you on the first time y'all talk or whatever it is like that, right? So if I tell a woman, yo, let's fuck or come through and let's hook up or whatever it is like that, right? She's not going to agree to that if she has medium interest. If she has high interest, she'll agree to it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And she's agreeing to it because he has high interest. You see what I'm saying? Um, da, da, da. You said, how do you deal with girls with medium interest who say, I am not that type of girl uh, to come around the first night? Well, me personally, I don't deal with them. But if you if you want to deal with them, right? You say, well, listen. Um, you you say to them, okay, cool, I respect that. But you have my number. Whenever you become that type of girl and you want to do this, holler at me. That's all you got to say. That's all you got to say to them, and you just leave it at that and let them come come around. You said if she has sex with you, does it mean uh she has high interest? It depends. When is she having sex with you? You understand? If she, did she did she have sex with you when you wanted to have sex, or did she have sex with you when after she made you wait for for three four dates? You understand what I'm saying? Hold on, infinite, infinite, the one. I wonder if this is Costas because y'all be saying some good You said there is no medium interest and have to disagree respectfully because that does not exist. Either she has high interest or no interest at all. Oh my God. Let me hit it again. Okay, so infinite. Let me ask you a question. How do you explain... Women who say, oh, we got to go on a few dates first. I got to get to know you first. See, if she had high interest, none of that would occur. She would just do what the guy's saying. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly, Iceberg. You said if that's the case, seduction wouldn't be a thing. Exactly. See, seduction happens 
when you're dealing with a woman who has low or medium interest. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to seduce <laughs> a woman who has high interest. You see what I'm saying? You do not have to seduce a woman who has high interest. Let me get some more of these questions and I'm going to get to a few more calls and then I'm going to head up out of here. Um, so let me see who we got next. <clears throat> says, why do women ghost after one night stands? Uh, can it be out of fear and insecurities? Well, it's, it's a few reasons. Well, it's a one night stand because, you know, it's, it's a one night stand. But, um, <clears throat> but what happens is a woman could, she could stop calling you or fucking with you after that first night you fucked with her. Either because the sex was bad or she, she didn't like the sex, right? Or she liked it, but that's all she wanted from you. You understand? Um, or she could have had a boyfriend and didn't tell you and she was cheating on her boyfriend. Or she felt weird about doing what she did and she doesn't want to like face you again. You feel what I'm saying? Oh man, infinite. I, I know this is Costas. He says seduction is your looks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Infinite, this is this is this is why you have to sit back and learn the game because you're just saying a bunch of nonsense right now. Seduction is your looks. Oh my God. <sighs> anyway, let's continue with some of these questions real quick. Um da -da -da -da. You said by the cheat code, are you referring to your consultations and the bad boy membership or just one of them? I'm talking about all of it. I'm talking about all of it. See this. Let me, let me explain to you guys something. See the stuff that you learn from me or any other coach who's really about it. You understand what I'm saying? Who really, who really knows the game, right? What it is, is that they're telling you, because this is the thing. If you notice Right. Like even when you watch real game, no theory show. Right. If you notice, even though all six of us have differences in, you know, the way we might approach certain things, there's still an underlining similarity. You understand? There's an underlining, underlining, underlying similarity in certain things. When we talk about the game, we talk about masculinity and all this other stuff. Right. Because. People who have game and who understand game and who are actually doing this shit in real life, they're going to have similar results. You understand? And so what happens is that having a coach is the cheat code because you're getting the information without you having to necessarily learn it on your own. So you're getting the information so you can implement the information when you go out there and then get things happening faster. You see what I'm saying? So that that's what that's what it's about. All right. Uh, hold on. Okay. See, Dennis, you sent this question like a million fucking times. Hold on. Let me get this shit out the way. Um. So you said, would you set the date before exchanging numbers? <clears throat> yes. So if you're like, if you're on an online dating site, you know, set the date. Have her say, yeah, I'll meet you here. And that sounds good, whatever. Okay, cool. Here's my number. Text me your number so you have, I have your number. You understand what I'm saying? So now once you have a number, then you can uh, hit her up on the number when you're confirming. You feel what I'm saying? Infinite the one. You're hilarious. This is AKA Costas. I know this is Costas. Uh, he said, the purpose of having uh, seduction is to get the girl who has no interest at all by using seduction skills to make her interested in you by becoming the man women want. <laughs> Yo, Infinite, you should just start a, P a pickup artist channel. Just start a PUA channel. Oh my goodness. So, so Infinite, so Infinite, if a gay dude wanted to get at you, he could get at you just by seducing you? 
So infinite, if because you're saying the seduction is all about the look. So if 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 a good looking gay dude hollered at you, would would he be able to get with you and seduce you? I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. Ridiculous. Anyway. Anyway, uh, let's get to another question. So what's the best way to put people on this channel? Because I tell people about you guys and then they say excuses why they don't need extra help. Hey, listen, all you can do is pass it along. If they, if they, whenever they're ready, they'll come through. You understand what I'm saying? When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. That's what it is. Uh, you said, what do you mean when you say uh, binary as fuck? <laughs> you talking about the t-shirts? Because, you know, when people say they're non-binary, which uh, I don't I don't necessarily get because in the material world, it, you have the yin and the yang. You have the this thing or that thing. So, you know, but that's that's what it is. You said, what's your level of with your level of game? How often do you meet high interest girls? I know the numbers game is different for everyone, but that's what I'm saying. Like what it is, is. It's still going like again, like if I if I was to approach a hundred women, right? 15 or 20 of them most likely would be high interest. You understand what I'm saying? So and and understand what it is, is that that's a good amount, that's a good amount because you don't fucking need 15 to 20 women. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the point is is that you have that amount of number. Because you can find those women. You feel what I'm saying? So instead of me dealing and dabbling with the low interest, medium interest women and wasting time with them, I'll just find the 20 that's interested. You see what I'm saying? So, you know. Well, let me uh, erase some of this stuff right here. Guys, if you want to call up, call the numbers 516 387 and 412. I'm going to get to you in a second. Um says, do you think that by directly telling a chick to meet up after matching, she might want to talk some more in order to vet you, see that you are not a weirdo, so she still might have high interest? Well, I, I'm not going to hit the button on you, but I, I was about to hit the button on you. But that's a good question, though. Um, this is the thing. Again, if a woman wants to talk some more in order to vet you, right? That means she does not have high interest. Remember what I said. The more resistance, the less interest. See, this is what you guys have to understand, right? This is why, I, and this is why I tell you guys to make sure, like, for example, if you're on a, a, a online dating site or whatever, these apps and all that other stuff, right? When you set up your profile and it's on point, where your pictures are on point, and the shit you say in your bio is on point right? It gives her an idea about the type of guy you are, right? So she can look at this profile and say, I'm interested in this nigga. I want to meet this dude. So when you say, yo, let's meet up Friday, she's like, yes. When a woman is like, oh, well, can I get to know you more and this and that? And what can we do this? And blah, 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 blah. Her interest is not high enough. So you have to understand something. High interest means no fucking resistance. I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys this. See, the problem is a lot of guys haven't dealt with women who have high enough interest to understand this. High interest is no resistance. You understand? See, again, a woman, see what you're saying right now, this sounds like a woman who has medium interest. So remember, medium or low interest doesn't mean she's not interested. She still could be interested. It's just medium or low. You understand? High interest, a woman is, it's like, it's so fucking easy. It's so easy. You understand? It's super easy. Like I've been, in, I've been in situations where, where I met a girl, like I'm at like a, a meetup event or I'm at a bar somewhere at some, some networking joint or whatever it is like that. Right. 
And I see the chick and I roll up on her. I walk up to her and I'm like, hey, how you doing? And soon as I say hi to her or what's up, how you doing? How's your night? Whatever. Super big smile all up in my. Gr- oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, my God. How's it going? What's your name? Right. And so we're talking and she's hanging on every fucking word. I'm like, hey, let's go to the to over here. And, and you know, because I remember I was at, there was this one place I was at. It was like an event and it was, you know, they had the bar or whatever, but it was giving out free drinks and all this other stuff. So I said, yo, let's go over here and get a drink real quick. She comes over here. We drinking and shit. So let's go outside. Let's do this. We go outside. I'm outside talking to her. And then we end up, you know, like kissing, doing all this other stuff. And I've known this girl for 15 minutes. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, is that when a woman has high interest, it's super easy. See, a lot of guys are used to dealing with women who have medium interest. See, a lot of guys spend so much time on women who have medium interest or low interest. You spend a lot of time with those women. And see, the more you interact with women who have high interest, it's hard to go back to women who have medium interest because you know better. You understand? It's because you know better. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, let's say the, the, the last five or six girls you interacted with, went on dates with, hooked up with or whatever, were all high interest. Made it real easy, real simple, right? Um, you know, they hooked up with you. They listened to what you were saying. There was no resistance. And then now you talk to some next chick. And you're like, yo, meet me for a drink Friday. And she's like, uh, excuse me, like, can, can you introduce yourself first? You're going to be like, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! Because now what happens is, is that your your level of what you accept, you understand what I'm saying, is different. You see what I mean? It's different. So if I if 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 I know that I have the ability to find women who is going to make it easy for me, why the fuck would I be going back and forth with some chick? Talking about, oh, let's get to know each other and blah, blah. Why? It don't make no sense. It makes zero sense. Uh, Eugene said, Lakari, there are some exceptions. Like, there are some girls that play caution because, one, they have some really bad experiences with guys, and two, uh, they are immature to the game. No, this is, again, again, again. Let me, I'm, I'm, try, I'm gonna try to explain it again. I'm gonna try to explain it again. And I've talked about this before. You have... Fear, and then you have desire, right? Now, if her desire overrides the fear, she's going to fuck with you. And high interest women, their desire always overrides their fear. You understand? So that means if a woman, you know, is like, oh, I had a bad experience in the past with such and such and such. She has that fear. She has a fear right here. Right. But because she has high interest in you, her desire. Takes over. See. One is going to take over the other. So either the. Desire is going to take over. Right. Or the fear is going to take over. So what happens is, is that if a woman has high interest in you, her desire always takes over her fear, meaning that she's like, oh man, you know, I'm kind of cautious about this guy, but yo, I really, I really fucking want to, I like this dude. I really, you understand? So then she goes with it. Now, if her fear takes over her desire, meaning she's like, oh, I like this guy, but I don't know. I'm kind of scared because this happened last time. And if she doesn't fuck with you, that means her fear took over her desire, which means she don't have high interest in you. You understand what I'm saying? Because when she has high interest in you, what happens is her mind is like, fuck that fear. 
We need to go and fuck with this nigga. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. See, high interest, when a woman has high interest in you, it's almost like she can't help herself. Okay, think about it this way. Think about it this way. And I'm sure I'm sure most of you guys can relate to this because I'm sure most of you guys have been in this situation. Have you ever been at a party, at an event, at a function, or even just outside somewhere or whatever, and you saw a woman who was so attractive physically that you couldn't keep your eyes off her? Like you just kept like... You, you would try not to stare. You probably look at her a little bit, move your head away or something like that. But you you always looking back. You're like, God damn. Right. You had a party somewhere. You're looking at a girl from across the room. You're like, oh, shit. You just like, I can't I can't stop. Yo, she's bad, though. Oh, my God. Like, you can't stop looking at her because she's so fucking sexy. Right. You you just can't help yourself. You trying to play it cool and shit. You trying to be all cool and shit, but she's so damn bad. You just, you just can't stop staring at her face. You're like, fuck, like, this bitch is so fucking bad. That's high interest, motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? That's how a woman feels when she has high, she can't help it. She can't help it. That's what I'm trying to say. So fuck the fear and all that other shit. You understand what I'm saying? If she has high interest, she can't help it. She wants it. She needs it. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. The high interest compels her so much that all that other shit goes out the window. All her rules, all her fears, all that other, it goes out the fucking window. It's like, oh, I would never have sex with a guy on the first date. She meets a guy, she has high interest, that bullshit out the window. Out the motherfucking window. You feel what I'm saying? All right, so let me see. Uh, hold on, we had another question. You said, Lakar, is it possible that a girl I knew for a while flakes because uh, I did not talk to her at all uh, the, the week until the day of the date? She told me, uh, that's the reason why she flaked. No, that's not the reason why she flaked. The reason why she flaked is because she saw that you weren't like she wasn't. Gonna, she wasn't gonna fuck with you anyway. She just doesn't want to deal with you anymore because she knows she's not gonna get the type of attention she wanted from you. See, a woman does not have to talk to you all week for her to not flake. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have to talk. Listen. I don't, I when I when I when I was set up dates with women, I don't talk to them. I do not talk to them at all. And usually the only time I'll talk to them is if they they message me first sometimes. And then they say, Hey, how's your day going? And I'm like, oh, my day is great. How's yours? And then they'll say some shit. And I'll be like, Well, that sounds awesome. But listen, hey, I gotta run. Cause I'm pretty busy today, but I look forward to seeing you Friday. And then I don't talk to her until the day to date. You understand? So all of that she talking about is bullshit. Oh, if a woman says that, she doesn't. She's not really interested in you. She was interested in your attention. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You said best response to say to a girl you just met a couple of days ago, ask you to rub her tummy for her. She's having what? I don't know what you're talking about with that, bro. Um, how long should first dates be? How many hours? I would say if you listen. First dates, if you're if you're not necessarily pulling a chick back to the spot to fuck or you're not going to a hotel or whatever. First date should be like 45 minutes to an hour. You understand what I'm saying? Like something real quick. You understand? Something real quick. Don't be spending all that time and shit. Uh, infinite with your questions. If having game can't make women like you, why are you teaching game if game don't work? Is it the whole purpose of having game is supposed to help you get women by needing game? Tasha, 
just I'm gonna just call you Costas because that's who you Costas. Rewind this 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 video once once we're done. Watch it from the top so you can understand what we're talking about. Um Sean Vice said, is it is it appropriate to have longer conversations with women at a house party versus a club? Well, this is the thing. Again, you have to see, like, what are you doing in a situation? Context matters. Like I said, when you first deal with women, right, you don't want to give them too much attention because they haven't earned the shit. Now, if you're giving a woman more attention at the beginning, that's because what you're doing is, is that you're leading it into sex. You understand? That's the only time you should be giving this chick any more attention if, if, if you're trying to lead that into actual sex at that moment. Other than that, no. You understand what I'm saying? See, a lot of times what you could do is if you're talking to a chick, right, that you just met, hey, listen, you seem cool. Let me, let me, let's just change numbers. And then you keep the shit pushing. Because if you're not trying to pull her that night, then why are you why are you wasting all this time talking to her? Why? You want to you want to build rapport, you want to get to know her, you understand all that shit? Why? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, a lonely guy says, are there any girls out there that may look past your social awkwardness and uh, shy energy? Yes, women will women will fuck with you if you're socially awkward and shy. But guess what's going to happen? Those women, unfortunately, they're going to be running your punk ass. That's all I'm going to say. They're going to be running you. So yeah, you can be socially awkward and shy and all that other shit, but they're going to be leading the relationship and they're going to have you there until, you know, they're tired of playing with you. You're going to be their plaything. You, you understand what I'm saying? You're going to be their plaything. Just understand that. So yeah, you can get them. Just like, like, for example, sometimes, you know that, do you know that women, like, let's say women you would consider hot, <laughs> and you see this woman with like a nerdy, goofy looking nigga that looked like he ain't got no game. And you're like, damn, how the fuck he got her? He is her plaything. He is the guy she's using in between alphas. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning she was with a, 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 a alpha male she was sexually attracted to. He dumped her, played her, whatever the fuck it was, and then she got with a safe boy. He's the safe boy. He's the guy who's going to make her feel beautiful. He's going to worship the ground she she work, walks on, and then he's she's going to break his heart when the new guy comes along. Exactly, uh, Wiggy, a placeholder. Exactly. <laughs> Women have no respect for male males. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but, you know, this shit is crazy. All right, let me see. Let me see with the other uh, questions. You said, uh, Lakari, are threesomes situations better to make happen with strangers than with someone you know uh, you are, that you're seeing? Um, it depends, though, because it can be good both ways. You understand what I'm saying? It just depends on the the situation it depends on if you know your girl is like cool with that shit if she's not then it's better you know you do it with strangers but if you guys want to learn how to get threesomes go to bad boy membership not bad boy membership sorry go to misslocario.com and get the bad boys guide to dating so i break down how to have threesomes in that in that uh uh you know in that program actually it's in a it's in another program in that program so it's a bonus program in that program called Step Up Your Dating Game that teaches you how to have threesomes. I break the shit down step by step of how to actually get the threesome popping. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me, let me see this real quick. All right. So, um, usually, Lakari can explain attraction versus seduction and where game comes into play. You say game is not su uh, seduction. Can you? When I say game is not seduction, can you give an example of game without using seduction? When did I say game is not seduction? Y'all be like, y'all be saying shit that I don't. I'm like, where do y'all get? 
You know, again, <laughs> y'all gotta, y'all gotta, oh man. That's always like weird to me when I hear people say, well, you said this. And I'm like, I've, I've never said that because I would never say that because that's not what it is, right? Seduction is part of the game. But when we're talking about attraction versus seduction, you're saying where does game come to play? It's all game. So the difference between attraction and seduction is attraction is when, for example, I go and I talk to a girl and I say, hey, how's it going? She's like, oh, I'm fine. And I'm like, hey, listen, uh, you seem cute. You know, and you, you know, you're cute. Uh, I, I think you're cool. We should get together and hang out, right? And she says, okay, sounds good. And I say, here's my number. Hit me up tonight. She hits me up tonight. I set up a time for us to get together and we meet up and we go on a date. We're having fun. We're kissing. We end up hooking up, yada, yada, yada. That's attraction, right? She's attracted to me. And all I had to do was set the pieces in motion, right? Now, seduction is where you have to sort of persuade the woman to fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? And this is why I said seduction happens when a chick has medium to low interest. Because seduction occurs when the woman isn't all the way with it yet. So, for example, let's say... Uh, I meet a girl at a bar, right? And I, and we're talking, we flirting and I say, yo, um, yo, we should get to, we should, uh, you should come back to my place tonight. Like, let's, let's get out of here. Go back to my place. And then she's like, no, I can't do that. I just met you. What are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, come on, girl. You know, you know, you want to unbuckle my belt and, you know, go down my pants and take my rock hard cock out. And you know what I'm saying? And then she's laughing and giggling and shit. And I'm like, see, you, you, I, I see, I know you want this. Come on, stop, stop playing. You know you want me. Listen, tell me you want me. I know you want me. You understand? That's seduction. You see what I'm saying? That's that's persuading the woman to do the thing that she previously was saying. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Blah 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 blah. You understand? But all of it is all of it is game. You understand? What I mean, so you got to understand that. Let me let me get to uh 412 real quick. 412 is popping. Who this? Yo, Mr. Locario, why are you not picking up my call, bro? Come on. Hold on. Let me let me uh hit this button real quick. <sighs> Sushi, did you donate? Yeah, bro. Of course, bro. <laughs> What's going on with you? What's going on with you? Yeah, you you mentioned that uh, the women want to ha have sex with you, always like giggles and laugh and big ass smile, right? Mm -hmm. So that's not the case in my in my situation, right? So I discovered that uh, so the women who are truly about it, you know, the two, the Polish woman and then the the, the other woman, mm. right? They look at me like if, as if they want to kill me and with anger, right? When they take my card. What? Right? Like what? the eyes. Yeah. You said women look at you like they're angry what? at you when they take your card? Yeah, those two women. Those two women that, that came over and actually had sex with me, right? So you're saying that, wait, you said two women had sex with you? Oh my god! The 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 one I told you about in December and uh -huh. the one in October. Oh yeah, because right. the other one that you told me she just gave you head, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you said those two women did what? So when I give them my card, right? Uh -huh. They they look at me like they're angry. You know, you can tell from their at their eyes. You know, mm -hmm. it's all like frowning and shit. Right. So mm -hmm. I think that's a pattern. Right. So mm -hmm. well, well, what is that about? So you said they looked at you like they were angry at you. Did they did they but they 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 t they texted you or called you. Right. Yeah. And then and then they, uh, you know, come over and fuck. 
Right. But, uh, but this is like, the thing. What the happens is, ones. hold on, hold on. What happens is that sometimes you got to understand sometimes women, they're, they're, see, some women don't know how to flirt and are also socially awkward. So, so that's why you'll have those sort of responses sometimes. You understand what I'm saying? Are the, so you're saying they're socially awkward. Yeah, that's they're probably, that's what I'm saying. Some of them are socially like, awkward, right? Because the fact is, they still hit you up and they wanted to make it happen. So they were interested, but they're socially awkward, which is why their responses are that way. You see what I'm saying? What about those the giggles and smiles and laugh, but then they ended up like, like not calling back or like uh, no sex? What, what happened there? Yeah, it wasn't, they weren't interested in you like that. But it's a, it's a pattern though. Like, like the ones that, you know, like have the nasty look, they, they like actually came over and had sex, right? But then the, the ones that giggles and smiles and shit, they, they don't. Okay, so what? Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't even matter. All that matters is, is which ones are responding to you to get with you to make something happen. You see what I'm saying? That's what you need to worry about. Like, don't worry yeah. too much about all of the, the, the particulars of it. It's more so when you give a woman your information, you tell her to call you, is she calling you and is she and, and texting you and is she coming through? That's all that matters. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's their pattern, though. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this, Sushi. You have to get, go out there and talk to more women because what's going to happen is you're going to meet more women and then you're going to run into women who smile and giggle and do all that other shit and, and want to fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? So right now, uh, it's not so necessarily think, a pattern okay. right, right now. You just haven't been in the situation enough to recognize all of the different variations of what could happen when you're out here doing what you do. Okay, but, but you're saying in your case that the whole giggle thing and laughing thing, mm. smiling thing, that that's, and those women have had sex with you before, right? Yeah, and I've had, and there's some women that I approach and I talk to, it wasn't necessarily like smiling and giggling, but they were being cooperative, and then I ended up fucking them, you feel what I'm saying? So, it's not, it's not where, like, you, oh, there's signs of when a chick is showing high interest in all of that, but what I'm saying is don't get so caught up on that all the time. What I'm saying is, is that her actions overall is going to dictate whether or not she's really trying to make it happen. So, if I give a girl my number, and I say, hit, you know, hit me up, and she hits me up, Cool. She's showing through her actions that she's trying to make something happen. If I meet a, uh, a match with a girl online and I say, yo, let's meet Friday. And she says, cool. Sounds good. Her actions are showing that she want to make something happen. You see what I'm saying? So those women, their actions showed you that they wanted to make something happen. But you're worried about, oh, well, she looked at me a certain way. Like, who cares? You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like, why are you worried about that? So, if, so let's say, can I use this as like a prediction or something? Like next time I give the girl my card and then she she gives me this uh, rage look, and then I will just be like, okay, I'm gonna get this pussy. <laughs> I mean, you can think like that if you want, but all that matters is is she if she hits you up. What I'm saying is just look at her actions or her follow through to, yeah, to yeah. it. That's all you got to worry about. Don't worry about how she's looking and. That's whatever. You understand? Because chicks, they be all over the place in their head. They thinking this or doing that or whatever. It's whatever. All it is, is that she's not responding in a way where she's saying, no, she's taking your card. She's, you know, calling you or texting you. That's all you need to worry about. You feel what I'm saying? All right. Okay. Hi, right, my brother. Oh, uh, Go ahead. Oh. Yeah. What are you going to say? Hey, uh, <laughs> Uh, your uh, y your picture on the other night, uh, Friday, right? You said you're gonna uh postpone the stream. Mm -hmm. I think your shirt is a little too tight, bro. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of kind of gay, bro. This nigga is sushi. <laughs> Sushi's the worst. <laughs> Get out of here, sushi. All right, let's go to uh, <laughs> let's go to seven five seven seven five seven. What's poppin'? Who this? What's up, bro? Um, um, this is Stephen, bro. What up? I Hold on, did, did you donate? Did you donate? Did you donate? Yeah, I literally just. Donated. All right. Bye. So what's All right, going on? So look, I met, I met, I met two girls, right? I'm talking to both of them. Okay, so I met girl number one first, mm. and she was cool. She had a good vibe, and then girl number two came in, and we all just ended up talking. Mm. 
Mm. So I gave girl number one my phone, and the conversation, the vibe was so good, she alley ooped my phone to girl number two. So I'm like, bad, because girl number two was even more badder, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I end up fucking girl number two, mm. and now I want to fuck girl number one, right? So, but they're friends. They, not like best friends, more like a couple of months, just mad, come mm. to my neighborhood type shit, let's work. Mm. So um, girl number two is going out of town for like a couple of days. I'm like, fuck, I want to fuck girl number one because she cute too. So mm. how would you approach that? Would you fuck with it because they're friends or you just leave it alone because I already like hit one of them? Nah, do you, you got girl number they, one's information? Yeah. So just hit yeah, her up. Just hit her up and be like, yo, what's good? What's, what's, what's good with you? Like, let's let's get together. That's what you got to do. Like you're not, do you're not, you're not fucking right. in a relationship with none of them. You know what I'm saying? You're not like you're not. Uh, uh, fact. You ain't got to be like fucking loyal to this girl number two. Like what the, you know what I'm saying? Like that's fact. You know what I mean? Just that's fact. That's fact. Nah, because girl number two is super cooperative, bro. Like mm. like everything that you say, like how a chick should be, mm. easy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Come over, fuck on the first date type shit. Right. Like super cooperative bro like she looks out so i'm like i might want to keep this one in my rotation you feel me so yeah you, you can know, still keep her. you can still keep her in the rotation and still fuck with her friend like remember you're not like when did you meet these women like fuck i hate to say it, but it's like a week ago bro <laughs> <laughs> exactly. oh, that's why. That's why. I, was, I didn't want to hear that song. yo yeah. oh Nick, come on bro stop bro <laughs> Yo, go call girl number uh, one. Tell her to come through and get it cracking. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, hey, yeah. what the yeah. fuck, right, nigga? You know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Holla at her, man. Yeah. See, what's, see what's good, man. All right, bro. I appreciate All right, it. All right, man. I'm right, Holla. Peace, peace. Y'all motherfuckers be loyal and, as shit to these chicks that I just met. God damn. Crazy. Let's go to let's go to 514. 514, what's popping? Who this? Yo, yo. What up? Yeah, yeah, man. I'm just saying, yeah, I donated. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What's, up, what's, up, what's, what's good? The A, on what you said, on what you said um, about uh, attracting the girl with no interest, right? Mm. Like, I 50% agree with what you said, right? Because, mm. see, I have this quick scenario I can tell you real quick, right? Mm. Um, it was concerning me. I was at a house party. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I approached a chick. Mm. 15 seconds after talking to her, she dodged me, right? Mm. Like, I uh, thought so she was interesting. So later on, I spoke to a friend. I didn't know it was a friend. It just happened to be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then the chick that dodged me, right? I saw her looking at us. I'm like, yo, 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 slot through. Like, she was a little bit further. Mm. But before I, I told her slot through, mm. and her friend was like, yeah, yeah, slot through. You should just die, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm. In the conversation, the girl that dodged me, right? Mm. I saw that she was getting more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, I had my head, like, we was on the sofa, right? I had my my hand on her leg mm. and my other hand on the third leg or whatever, mm. right? To the point, all right? I'm just, I'm I'm wondering, right, Mr. Lacari, I'm wondering, was the girl, like, did she have a minimum of interest at me, from me, like, from jump? Or, like, it just rose and, like, by the time of me, like, talking to them? Well, to well, what do you mean when she dodged you? What, what, do you, what does that mean? What happened? Oh, she was not interested. She skipped me like she, you know what I'm saying? She is. So you, so you like approached 15, her like and, and and try to talk to her. She walked away? Like she was slowly walking away type shit. You know when a girl, you know when she walk like, you know what I'm saying? Like she's walking backwards and she like, she don't want to talk to you. I oh yeah, they, that, that's, 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 like that's that. what I'm saying. That's medium interest. <laughs> that's okay. what I'm saying. That's okay, medium okay. interest. So, <laughs> so, so what I'm saying is, as time yeah. goes on, her interest can become high, mm -hmm. but understand that initially that's medium okay. interest. You see what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, mm -hmm. see, see, the thing you got to understand is this. When, when a woman has high yeah. interest, right? She's, she's, she's mm -hmm. at the height of her interest, meaning that everything just flows. So a woman who has high interest isn't walking away from you, period. You understand what I'm saying? Now, what, what happens is this, is that if a woman has high interest in you, you could do things yeah. to lower her interest, meaning like you might say something or do something goofy or or just act a certain way where she's kind of like, okay, this guy, I'm I'm getting turned off by this nigga, right? But and and, yeah, on, and, and the reverse yeah. happens too, meaning if a woman has lower medium interest, 
you can do certain things where she's her interest starts to raise up, meaning she's like, oh, you know, I'm starting to like really feel this dude. So and w- from what you're saying, yeah. this chick had medium interest. And then as time went on, she her interest could have raised based off of the interaction I was having or her thinking about it or whatever it is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I was like in the conversation, like we was talking about a subject that apparently she liked. You know what I'm saying it was like astrology because I studied astrology and mm. shit. And it turns out, you know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, as soon as I was talking about the subject, now she got loud. Now her eyes started to glow and shit. You know mm. what I mean? So, like, I can tell, like, because at the beginning, she was just not rocking with this kid. Like, mm. I was just, I, I was trying to talk to her in the combo. She was ignoring me. So then I was, I was joking about, I was joking about her ignoring me to a friend, like, oh, your, your friend's just not fucking with me. Then she starts laughing. And then she's like, oh, mm. You know what I'm saying? And she saw that she was left out of the convo, but then she got she got more comfortable, more comfortable, like by the time. Right, that's what so I'm saying. Like, like the fact that she's ignoring you, that's a woman who has high interest ain't ignoring you. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like exactly. so you got you just gotta understand that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. For sure. But yeah, as far as that, man, that was really my my um like the the subject that I was wanting to speak on. So I really appreciate you answering this, man. Um and I appreciate what you do for the uh, for the other men out here because you know, mm. like you're giving that game, man, straight up, man. So that's, that's, what's, that's up. what's up, man. Appreciate, so appreciate the call, it, my brother. Appreciate you, man. I'm gonna holler at you, man. All right. All right. So let me get a few of these questions and I'm gonna head up out of here. Remember, we got the show tonight at 10. So just want you guys to understand me and Miles gonna be on uh tonight at 10 o'clock and we're gonna get this shit cracking. Uh they said, Lucario, do women call a man goofy or weirdo? If you're not uh, sexy to her, I mean, well, usually they just call you creepy. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Uh, and, you know, that's that's usually the thing if you're trying to get at them. Uh, you said, do you think the body game is also part of, of your game? Yes, it is. Because you can use your body to attract women. Um, you said, if having game can't make women like you, why are you? Oh, you already already uh, talked about that before. Um you said, what is that word goofy when women use that slang meaning if you're not good looking or tall, don't ever waste my time? Well, I use that. I use goofy, but women generally don't use goofy. I haven't heard women use that as much. Women just say, oh, you know, he's lame or creepy or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you said, how do you vet a bitch you meet at the club when things get sexual in less than five minutes? Well, listen, guys, go to badboymembership.com. I have the program, How to Vet Women for Casual Sex, right now. You guys can get that shit popping right now. Go to the Bad Boy Membership. Get that program. So it says, is it true that many confuse being good with game and think someone can get nine out of 10 women when instead it's more like one out of 50 or 100? Well, this is the thing. When you're, when you're good at game, your percentages of what you get going is going to be higher than the average person, right? But it's still never, it's still not going to be, um, you know, like a good majority of the women you talk to. You understand? So again, like if you, if you approach a hundred girls, right? And let's just say as far as fucking chicks or having sex with them or getting to the point where you sleep with these women, right? A guy who has really tight game and who's advanced in the game and all that other stuff, right? Out of 100 women he hollers at, he might be able to sleep with like 35 to 40 out of those 100 if his game is really tight, right? But there's still that's still 60 women he ain't sleeping with. You understand what I'm saying? But he's he's doing way better than the average dude because the, the average dude won't even come close to that. You understand what I'm saying? Or the below average, you won't go close to that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? So, but what happens is, is that um, when a guy is, you know, really good at game, is is also still based off of the context of what percentage of time he's going to be able to pull or make something happen. So, for example, a guy who's really good at game, when he goes out, right? Because, like, for example, like, there was this dude I used to go out, uh, hang out with, and maybe like I'd say seven to eight times out of 10, probably I would say even more. I'm going to give him more credit than that. I say eight to nine times out of 10 when we would go out, 
he'd always he, he'd pull a chick. You understand what I'm saying? Now he had to talk to a lot of girls to pull that chick, but he will pull a chick. You understand what I'm saying? Most of the time when he go out. You see what I mean? So it all depends. Hold on, let me uh Okay, what's the next question? Well, let me uh, undo these so I don't redo the questions. All right, so he says, how can the three types of interests have, wait, how can the three types of interests, I guess I would say, has the same value on dating sites versus reality? It's totally different. High interest in real life is not, uh, high interest on dating apps, I guess. No, well, it's the thing. A woman can have high interest on a dating app. And this, and a woman can also have high interest in, you know, uh, interaction where she's talking to you at a bar or some shit like that. But what she considers high interest on the app, right, is going to be different than what she would probably consider high interest in, in interaction as she randomly meets some dude at a bar. You see what I'm saying? Because, for example, with with uh, with online dating, part of what will make her be highly interested in you is the fact that your pictures are on point. Like your pictures look good. You know what I'm saying? Like so, you might have one or two good, really good professional pictures that make you look really good. You understand what I'm saying? And that can make her int- that could make her have high interest on that. And then she reads your bio, she's like, oh yeah, I want to definitely meet this dude. You see what I'm saying? So let me see. Uh if you bust in a bitch mouth and she wants to kiss you right after, she's trying to disrespect you. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't kiss, I wouldn't kiss her after that, but I'm just saying, uh, I don't I don't necessarily mean I don't necessarily think she's trying to disrespect you because some dudes might be into that shit. I don't know, she probably was fucking with a guy that, that's into it, and she's like, Let me see if this other next guy is into it. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. So look, I had a coworker that I always had sexual tension with, but nothing ever happened. She's married, she recently quit. And she just texted me out of nowhere. How's it going? <laughs> well, find out if she's still married. And if she's not married, then, you know, holler at her. But if she is still married, you know, you know, proceed with caution. You understand what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. Because she could want to get some popping or she could, uh, you know, she could just be using you for attention. You know what I'm saying? Chris, the place at Lucario, bitch, I had one night stand with asked me to hold her purse when she said she was trying to adjust her heels and I refused. Did I do the right thing? (laughs) You guys are funny. (laughs) You guys with these questions. I love it. Bro, yeah. Well, listen, man, don't be holding a woman's purse. Tell her to put that shit down on the floor or some shit, man. Um, You said you said a chick don't got to like you to fuck you. If she fucks me, can can her attention go from uh low to high off the fuck game. Well, this is the thing. If you if she has low interest in you, she's most likely not gonna fuck you. You understand what I'm saying? But when I say a woman doesn't have to like you to fuck you, what I mean is is that she doesn't have to like you as a person. You understand? She doesn't have to respect you. You understand? She has to like you in the sense of being sexually attracted to you, but she doesn't have to like you as like, oh, I really like this guy and he's a really good guy. And you know, like she don't gotta, you know, that ain't gotta happen. Um, you, Avery said you can't put the purse on the floor is bad luck <laughs> that's funny I never heard that one that's crazy that is funny um, when he said uh, what, what defines the initial high interest your looks your energy your body language your vocal tonality your confidence please explain yourself hard well that's what I was saying earlier what defines the, what what makes a woman highly interested in you, right? Is a combination of of things. Because sometimes a, a woman could a woman can be highly interested in you uh, because she's sexually attracted to you 
just based off your looks. You understand what I'm saying? She could be like, oh my God, he's so fine. And then she's sexually attracted to you because of that. And now she's interested in you highly because of that shit, right? But in general though, in general, because you know it's not just a, a look thing, but in general, what makes a woman have that initial high interest in you is that she, she can sense based off your behavior, which I was talking about earlier, what type of guy you are. And the more she sees that you're a masculine dominant guy who has a uh, uh, game, you understand, and knows how to deal with women, right? She'll be highly interested in you because you're that type of guy. You understand what I'm saying? You're that dude. And so therefore what happens is, is that if you're her type of guy, cause this is the thing you could be that type of guy, but not necessarily her type of guy. You understand? So what that means is, is that a woman could see you and, and think you're, you know, attractive, but not necessarily be attracted to you because you're not necessarily the type of guy that she is really into. And therefore she's not, that particular woman is not going to have high interest in you. But the woman who's going to have high interest in you is because you're that type of guy for them. You understand what I'm saying? But most of it, what it is, is just your overall vibe and your presence and your energy, which she feels and she recognizes based off the fact that you know what you, 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 uh, you know, you're doing. It's just like when I, for example, when I watch YouTube videos, right, of dudes who um, uh, talk about game and women and all this other shit. I can tell the guys who actually get girls. I can, I, I can, like, I can watch, like, maybe let's say I watch two videos of a guy's channel. And he's, he's supposed to be talking about game and game women. I can watch two videos and sometimes even in one. 90 you know seconds. What I'm I can watch one video sometimes and I can tell just off this one 10 minute video of what this guy's saying if he gets girls, if he knows, if he understands the game. You understand? And I can recognize that because I, I recognize. Uh, uh, you know, other guys who are like that. And also I recognize myself in that situation, which is what he, which is what he's talking about. You understand? So there was this one dude. Um, uh, I saw, um, damn, I, I can't remember his name actually, but I remember, um, I think MLD was, um, interviewing him and then, and then he actually interviewed me on one of his channels. I got, I got to remember his, his name, whatever, but, um, he was talking about, you know, a lot of the, the, like, you know, shit he was doing with these chicks and, you know, him out there approaching girls and yada, yada, yada. Right. And based off of what he was talking about, I said, yeah, he, he, I said, he's the real deal. He know what he's talking about. He's, he's really out there. I can, I can tell he's really out there just off of what the fuck he's saying. And the opposite is true. I can tell when niggas don't know what the fuck they talking about and they're not really out there. You see what I'm saying? So when dudes is like, yo, just get on your purpose and wait for choosing signals and, you know, get your money up. And I'm like, these niggas, they're not, really, they not really out there. They're not really out there. You understand what I'm saying? They're not really doing it. You understand? Exactly. Game recognized game. That's what it is. That's what it is. Um... You say, is it possible? Is it possible that your girl had sex with the first? Wait, is it possible that a girl you had sex with the first night and a few times after that, and then will uh, use you only for attention? Um, that could happen if she loses interest in you sexually, but generally, you probably just y'all just gonna keep fucking in most cases. You understand what I'm saying? In most cases, y'all gonna keep fucking. You said if you've been dealing with a female for a few months, what type of tasks uh, would you would uh, you introduce to her? Um, well, this is the thing. When you like, let's say for example, I talk about this in a, in the vetting program. Um, the first three months, you know, you just fucking hooking up with her, whatever, whatever. After those three months, um, you know, you could, if you want, give her little things to do, but something small, like yo. Before you come over to my crib, I need you to stop to the, at the store and get me some soda. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like little shit like that, just to see if she's, you know, cooperative, compliant, and she's going to be listening to your directions. You see what I'm saying? Now, as time goes on, 
and you've been seeing her for like eight, nine months, 10 months, going on a year or so, so like that, then you can give her a little bit more, um, you know, bigger tasks to do because the tasks have to match with the level where she's at in your, in your situation. You see what I'm saying? Um, JD Rich says the title proves looks are mandatory. I mean, come on, looks don't matter is said by women to those who physically do not matter to them outside of physical and financial labor or investment. Oh my God. Jay, what are you talking about? What do you, I, I, I don't even understand what you said, truthfully. I'm like, I, that's like, you have to like clear that up. I don't know. Met this girl on Tinder. We had sex, but she done a stinky fart and it stank like cat food. <laughs> she wants to see me, but was... <laughs> nigga. Farts are supposed to stink, man. What are you talking about, bro? Y'all, I think y'all be you gotta be trolling with some of these comments. You said when are you gonna do another seminar? Um, yeah, that's that's something we'll probably be doing another seminar uh later this year. You understand? Probably in the summertime going into fall-ish, you understand? Because the first thing we're tra- really uh, getting on is the, the Game Kings 2. So we got we to gotta get that cracking and get that situated first. And then, you know, we could think about the other stuff. Uh, you said, if if she doesn't say, bless you after you sneeze, is that disrespect? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's just bad manner. She should say, bless you. But anyway. If I purchase game, can still download. Am I able to download such view on Android, tablet, smartphone? I don't have a PC. Um, yeah, you can view it on your phone. Um, so she said, uh, had sex with this mo- IG model. She ended up stinking my bed up. She done. Oh, come on, stop with the bullshit. Anyway, all right, guys, listen, I'm about to head up out of here. <laughs> I'm about to head about it, but yo, man, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, make sure you guys uh, tune in tonight, 10 o'clock. Me and Miles are going to go in. I don't even know what the topic is yet, but, you know, it'll be something uh, that you'll learn from. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, man, appreciate y'all tuning in, and I will holla at y'all later. Shout out to everybody in the chat, and I will talk to y'all soon. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. I'm out. When it comes to being a man, it's about being that rock. It's about being stable. So first, you're going to have to find discipline within yourself. Do you have that type of discipline? Do you even have the heart to be ruthless? Women need leadership. It is in their nature to seek out leadership. You know, you can't do a 99 because all that's part of a man. You got to do a 100. Apparently, these women out here having sex with somebody. Apparently, they're getting pregnant with somebody. <laughs> Shoot, somebody getting some. You should look at something like hypergamy and allow it to inspire you to always be evolving, getting better, expanding, developing. There are things you know, the things you don't know. Then there are things you don't know you don't even know. There can be 10 of us in one room and there's one question and there's 10 correct answers, all different.